So in this video, you will learn what is the builder design pattern and how you can implement. So let's start. So guys, my name is Rakesh Malviya and before I start my today's session, I would like to tell that I have made around 100 plus videos on the Oracle SQL and if you want to learn Oracle SQL in detail and easy way, then please don't forget to check out my description box in that I have given link for the same. Also, I would like to tell that I have made several videos on the design pattern, just like factor design pattern, singleton design pattern, adapter design pattern, bridge design pattern, facade design pattern, and so many design patterns I have made. So please don't forget to check out my description box for that too. Okay, in that I have given the link for the same. So let's begin with that today's session. So guys, what is builder design pattern? Builder design pattern is nothing but it is used to separate the construction process of the complex object from its representation so that we can use the same construction process for the different different representation. So that is nothing but your builder design pattern. So what we will do over here, we will construct the complex object step by step and the final product will be your object. So that is nothing but your builder design pattern. So guys, the example which we are going to discuss in this session, which is nothing but your building the PC. Why? Because it's a complex object. And why I'm considering this as a complex object? Because each component of the PC is a complex. Why? Because building a monitor, building a motherboard, building a cabinet or building a CPU, it's a complex object, correct? It, it has their own complexity. So why should not we separate all these things? So that is the reason we are taking this example over here. Okay, and real time example, if you want to know, then please let me know in the comment box so that I can give you the real time example and where exactly I use. Okay, so let's have a look what exactly I'm going to do. So guys, let's see the practical example of the builder design pattern. Over here, we will take example of the building PC. Okay, and this is our complex object. And PC can be HP or Dell. So this is our example. Now, before I start my today's session, I would like to tell that whatever the coding I'm going to do, that I will explain in the form of diagram first. And then later on, I will jump on to actual coding. Okay. So this is what I would like to tell before I start my program. Okay. So guys, as you can see on the screen, this is how my program will look like. And this is how I'm going to do the coding. So what I will do, I will create one class called as a C desktop. And the purpose of this class is to just show what kind of object I have created. Okay. After that, I will create one interface, which is nothing but your PC builder interface. And inside that, I will make few function as a virtual. You can see over here, build monitor, build ring, build processor, build motherboard. Why I made this function as a virtual function or pure virtual function? Because these are the important function of my complex object. Without this, I cannot create or I cannot form the desktop. Okay. So that is the reason we are creating this function as a pure virtual function. Now, out of... Uh, uh, many classes I have created only two classes which is nothing but your HP and Dell. So these are my builder classes and over here uh, I have implemented all these functions. So these are the concrete classes. This is also concrete classes. So two concrete classes I have created. After that 
what I have done I have created one director class which is nothing but your computer assembly director okay and inside that I have created one build desktop function and inside that I have logic of calling this function which will create the object of HP or day okay so this is my director class and this is important class these are the also important class okay this one and this one instead of two you can create a number of classes depending upon the your requirement okay after that i have written one main function and what i have done inside that main function i have created object of builder class i have created object of director class and i have passed the object of builder class to director class object okay and after that i have called build desktop function which is nothing but this one okay and inside that i have logic of calling this function which will return the object of hp or dell uh, desktop okay so this is all about my program and now let's go for the my actual coding So guys, I have already written the program. I will just explain what I have written code. Okay, so let's see the code and let's understand. So guys, as you can see on the your screen, this is the program I have written. So very first class is nothing but your C desktop class. As I told you, this is just for the sake of display. So over here, I have set function and over here, I have show function. Okay, so this will tell what kind of object is created now after that what i have done i have created one interface inside that i have created a few virtual function i have already explained why i made this function as a pure virtual okay and over here i have just created get desktop which will return the object of my c desktop class okay after that i have created the concrete classes which is nothing but your hp and dell you can see inside that i have implemented or i have defined the build monitor build ring build processor and motherboard inside that i have written the uh, one logic of setting the um, configuration i can see that over here okay after that what i have done i have created the director class as you can see on the your screen computer assembling director inside that what i have done i have written one function called as a build desktop which will call all the four function monitor ram processor and motherboard okay and this function will be get called based upon what input i am passing over here if i am passing the object of hp class then it will call from the hp class rather than the dell desktop class okay and if i am passing over here object of dell then it will call from the dell class rather than the hp class okay so this is what I want to tell over here and this is very important and the sequence of building the your function or building your object is very very important in the builder design pattern okay so please call all the function in sequential manner in which you can build your complex object okay so this is what I want to tell over here and one more thing I would like to tell about the directory class which is nothing but your this is very important class and this has to be built okay in order to implement the builder design pattern. Now moving on to the next section which is nothing but your main function as you can see over here I have created the object of Dell class and same object I am passing over here to the my director class and once my director object is created I can call this function okay and which functions will be get called or I can say that from which class this function will be get called it will called from the Dell why because I am passing over here Dell object in this so what it will do it will come over here and you can see over here it will call the my Dell uh, class of uh, my Dell class uh, functions okay so this is how it will call and this is how it will build so over here you can see now I can directly call the build desktop function which will build the actually my desktop or I can say that complex object okay so this is very very important now instead of this if I am passing the HP object then it will call 
these functions from the HP class rather than the Dell uh, class. Okay, so this is all about the pedal design pattern and you can see over here, uh, same thing I have done over here, I have created the HP object and the same thing I have passed over here. So what it will do, it will call this function from the HP class and you can see over here using that director object I have called uh, build desktop function and it will create the complex object of HP desktop okay after that what I have done I have just called the uh, show function or I can say that I have get over here object and then after that what I have done I have just show what I have built it okay same thing I have done over here also so this is all about the builder design pattern I hope you have understood how exactly you can write the builder design pattern program now let me summarize very quickly okay over here so this is one C desktop class I have created just shake off information or just showing the what object I have created after that what I have done I have created one interface and after that I have built the builder classes which is nothing but your HP and Dell okay and after that I have created one director class you can see over here and at last what I have done I have created the main function you can see over here okay so this is all about the builder design pattern now let me run this program but before that I have to compile this program and I need to create the object or sorry I can say that executable okay so I have created one uh, executable so let me show you over here executable you can see over here this is the executable i have created okay now let me clear and let me run over here so you can see over here two objects are created dell and you can see over here hp so this is how you can get the complex object in very simple manner So guys, I hope you have understood what exactly the builder design pattern. I know you are a bit confused. So you maybe can question that what exactly the difference between the builder design pattern and the factory design pattern. So guys, I just would like to tell one line in the builder design pattern, we concentrate on the building the complex object. What kind of steps we have followed. So that is the thing and that is the big difference between the builder design pattern and the factory design pattern. In the factory design pattern, we do not concern about what are the steps we have followed or we do not have the uh, any concept or we do not have any uh, thought process in order to build the complex object or what kind of process I am following or we I am not using the same process to build the different different kind of object. So that is the big difference between the factory design pattern and the builder design pattern. So I hope you have understood now what exactly the builder design pattern is. And if this video helps you in any ways, then please don't forget to share this video in any of the social media platform. And thank you so much for watching for the video. Bye bye. Take care.